they had been seen by doctors and hospitals and the best trained people. And here I was just saying what I was saying, which seemed kind of obvious and simple to me, and getting these results and thinking, this has got to be the most interesting thing on the planet. Joshua, I'm so excited to have you here and get to talk to you a little bit today. Thank you, Sharon. It's great to see you and great <laughs> to be doing this interview with you. A common mantra or a phrase that I keep hearing coming up lately is this idea of treat the cause, not the symptoms. I, I think that's a really important idea that health coaches can really embrace. What does that mean to you? The synthesis of it was that we are a biocomputer, better than all the computers in the world by far. But when things go wrong, it's not because the biocomputer failed, it's because too much pressure was placed on the engine and then the wire started smoking. And so usually that comes from stress or inappropriate diet or just not taking care of yourself, which is a really common thing today because people are working so many hours and have so many roles and responsibilities. And so then this uh, precious body of ours starts to fail. And so if all you're doing is addressing the crack in the biocomputer and putting tape on it through taking away the cough or through uh, taking away the arthritis, it's only a temporary but the magic of health coaching is to drill down much deeper. We like listen to people for an hour or two or ten in a six-month program and allow the individual to heal themselves by themselves through understanding what's going on for them and clearing up how they can fuel themselves through bioindividuality to understand where they're primary food or circle of life is off balance, which is causing them to be off balance. And once they learn that, they don't really have to go back to the doctor's office again because they now have the blueprint for how the body can heal itself by itself. So it's a much more empowering model for the individual. You founded Integrative Nutrition just over 20 years ago now uh, because you saw this great need for health coaches. What, how has your perspective on global health changed over the last 20 years? I started it not because I saw a need, but because I was um, really fascinated that I was doing health coaching in basically jeans and a t-shirt and helping people get well after they had been seen by doctors and hospitals and the best trained people and here I was just saying what I was saying, which seemed kind of obvious and simple to me, and getting these results and thinking, this has got to be the most interesting thing on the planet, that I can sit here and share this with people and that they can get well. But even more interesting than that I was doing that was that no one knew that this was happening. And here it is now 20 years later. And uh, it's still, you know, we have... Uh, doctors and huge hospitals and huge pharmaceutical companies and they're all doing what they're doing and yet people are through social media and through having ailments with their family and themselves needing to figure out how to get well on their own um, because they're not sure that that existing system is working. Well, Joshua, it's, it's always such a pleasure to talk with you and have you share your wisdom with our community and our audience and our Thanks, students. Thanks, Sharon. And it's great to see you. So nice seeing you as well.